Now, if you thought the Infinity War saga was the most ambitious crossover of the decade, then AOC wants you to hold her beer. Because the progressive firebrand and freshman, con freshman congresswoman has just agreed to team up on Twitter with the wax figure come to life known as Ted Cruz. Yes, they've apparently gotten together to work on a bill that would ban members of Congress from becoming corporate lobbyists after they leave office. Wow. Here we go. Uh, now, the coming together apparently played out over Twitter after AOC tweeted on Thursday a statistic from Public Citizen. Now, Public Citizen is an ethics watchdog founded by Ralph Nader, and that uh, specific statistic stated that nearly 60% of members of Congress eventually go on to become lobbyists. And she said, quote, if you're a member of a Congress plus leave, you shouldn't be allowed to turn right around and leverage your service for a lobbyist check. She added, I don't think it should be legal at all to become a corporate lobbyist if you served in Congress. Or at minimum, there should be a long waiting period. Now, that's a good tweet. I covered that yesterday. Talked about that. I, I, I absolutely agree. I think the uh, lobbyist should be banned for life. Or people should be banned from life from becoming lobbyists after they have served in government. Because, look, you go into government, you should be there for public service, not to serve out your term and then go and get rich lobbying your former friends on Capitol Hill. That public service should not be a way to become a millionaire. And so that's one of the problems that's wrong with the system. Uh, now, Ted Cruz responded about, th uh, about an hour and a half later, and he wrote, quote, Here's something I don't say often. On this point, I agree with AOC. And then, of course, after that happened, I regrew all my hair while the world fell into the sun. Because it truly seems to be the end of days. Never would have thought. Now, Cruz added that he had long backed a lifetime lobbying ban for former members of Congress. And he tweeted this, quote, The swamp would hate it, but perhaps a chance for, for, for some bipartisan cooperation... Look at that, man. Wow. What's not to like about this? Now, again, seeing an opportunity to stick it to corporate lobbyists, AOC responded with, I'm down, but she laid out some conditions. She said, so long as it's a clean bill, no poison pills, no snuck-in abortion bans, nothing shady. She said, quote, just a straight, clean ban on members of Congress becoming paid lobbyists then I'll co-lead the bill with you. Cruz's response, quote, you're on. Ah, uh, here we go. To which I say, yes. Now, I love it because this is a bill that would reduce corruption, that revolving door, right? And that is actually, would be truly bipartisan. And look, there is no one I loathe more than Ted Cruz. And you guys know this. I take every opportunity I can to dunk on Ted Cruz because it is so easy and he is so loathsome. But you know what? I'm actually going to give him credit today. Now, to be fair, I want to see the piece of legislation. But then again, if AOC is down, and you know she's going to be looking carefully at this, then I think it might be a good piece of legislation. Oh, man. Which, of course, means the establishment is going to be massively against it because lobbying, as I said, uh, according to that statistic, is over half of all former members of Congress become rich. So I think it's going to face stiff resistance unless, I think, we put a, stop, a spotlight on it and shame politicians into reform. We've got to keep an eye on them. And so this is what, this is what political revolution partly means. We, first, we make the changes. And then we have to watch. We have to make sure that the politicians are doing what we want them to do. And AOC has been pretty good so far. And so I'm, I do want to see, this is the kind of bipartisanship I want to see. Stuff that handles corruption. Do I trust Ted Cruz? Absolutely not. But I think if we pay attention and we look, uh, and, 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 and we really kind of watch and see these politicians and what they do, then maybe 
maybe we might just end up with a pretty good bill. And so I'm actually pretty hopeful. I'm actually pretty positive about this. Uh, and so, and look, by the way, watching this, I think this is important. This is why or what makes AOC's involvement so important. She has the spotlight. She draws that attention. And I don't think she'll settle for a terrible bill. I really don't. So I think that's a positive thing. But again, we just have to make sure because I understand there's, look, there's nobody that, that trusts Ted Cruz less than me. But I think if, he, if he's serious, then that's great. All in all, very unlikely duo. But if it can lead to something good, then I hope that they have success in shutting down this revolving door for good. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYTNation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.